Greetings to you, learners of our advanced level economics. I am Guanyi Livingston Teku, GCE advanced level examiner. So this is a very first topic that is national income. This is a very first lesson for you out there preparing for GCE advanced level exam. We under this we are going to examine as lesson notion of national income. Our lesson objective by the end of this lesson, you learners will be able to define national income and identify and explain the basic national income concepts. In order to drive this lesson, we put forth the problem situation. A Cameroonian doing business in France discovered that each time his income falls short to buy his required product. As an economic student in upper six, how can you help him out? So by the end of this lesson, we should be able to address this situation. We kick off by looking at the definition of uh, national income. National income is a total monetary value of goods and services produced using a country's own resources over a given period of one year after allowance for depreciation has been made. We move now from the definition to the basic concepts. Basic basic national income concepts. The basic national income concepts. We are going to begin with the very first, that is stocks and flows. Stocks and flow. Stock is the total accumulated quantity of particular goods at a particular time. For example, the assets of a firm at the end of the year constitute what is known as stock. Why flow represents an aggregate between two periods. It should be noted that when we talk of uh, flows, the time period or the time frame must be mentioned. For example, within one week. So we say national income, uh, national income by this definition is a flow and not stock. This next basic concept we want to look at is the aspect of market prices and factor costs. Market prices and factor cost. Market prices is the method of measuring national income at the prevailing market prices or the prices customers actually paid for their products. While factor cost is the method of measuring national income at the cost of uh, factors of production, the cost of factors of production or in terms of the factors of production that have been used to produce the output. Now we can migrate from values of uh, market prices to factor costs. Now we use the formula or the adjustment Adjustment needs to be made for indirect taxes or expenditure tax and uh, subsidies. You can adjust for factor cost. 
So values at factor cost can be gotten by adjusting the market prices. That is making adjustments for expenditure or indirect tax and subsidies. That is values at factor cost. is equal to the values at market prices plus subsidies minus indirect taxes or the exp expenditure tax. So that is the adjustment to migrate from the market prices to, for market prices to factor cost. The next aggregate we want to look at is uh, stock appreciation. Stock appreciation. Stock appreciation, it is the value of physical increase or the value of a fiscal increase in stock, a nominal value of inventory or stock as a result of rise in prices. Take it over. Stock appreciation is an increase in the nominal value of inventory or stock as a result of an increase in prices during the period under consideration or during the period in question. Now, we, when we talk of stock depreciation, stock depreciation is the fall in the nominal value of stock as a result of fall in prices. Now, in a measuring national income, as we shall soon begin, using the output method, we add stock depreciation and subtract stock appreciation. The explanation is very clear. We add stock depreciation because we add stock depreciation because though it is a fall, output has not fallen. So we have to add this stock depreciation in order, in order to cover up the fall in value of stock that was brought in as a result of fall in prices. For appreciation, we subtract stock appreciation because it artificially increases the value of stock, whereas real output has not increased. That is why we have to subtract stock appreciation when measuring national income using the output methods as we shall soon see. Now the next aggregate we want to look at is real and money national income. Money national income Money national income and the real national income. So money national income is a national income measured in monetary terms or national income measured at current prices. Whereas when we talk of real national income, it is national income after adjustment for price changes or national it is income in terms of goods and services or national income at constant prices so that gives us real national income now we can migrate from nominal national income or not national income to real national income 
we use the deflating factor or the formula real national income is equal to money national income money national income times the base year price index over current year price index now we use a simple arithmetic some of you say there is there are calculation in national income i'll tell you that no because we use a simple arithmetic we got at our kindergarten level now we get the real from here we can transpose the formula as such the base year what we should note at this level the base year price index is is always 100. now we can transpose this formula as money national income over the current year price index times 100 on one so any of this level the substitution will give us the same answer so this is our working formula that is to migrate or to convert from the real national income to the money national income we are going to end at this level next class we are going to or in the next video which is part two of the lesson we are going to look at net property income from abroad and some lesson integration with regards to what we are currently studying the notion of national income so see you next class